Today we're going to tackle a topic that may seem minor, but it's actually a game changer. We're talking about crafting a great book description for your listing on Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP. And there is a new tool that has just come out that can be of great help to you as it generates a book description for you. The best thing is it's absolutely free. More on that later. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make an income from self-publishing. So you've put in all the effort to create your book and now it's time to sell it. And a compelling book description is your sales pitch. So let's get started. First off, let's answer the question, why is the book description so important? It's simple, a well-written book description can help the reader to understand what to expect from your book, creating a sense of intrigue or engagement. It can make the difference between a browser and a buyer. And also don't forget that Amazon doesn't index your book description, but Google does, so you have more chances of people finding your book on Google as well. So here are my top five tips for crafting a compelling book description. Tip number one, hook the reader. Start with a strong opening sentence that captures the reader's attention immediately. This could be a thought-provoking question, a shocking statement, or a bold claim about your book. Tip number two, be clear and concise. Clarity is essential. Your description should clearly state what your book is about in a concise manner. Be direct and precise, but also engaging. Don't give everything away, but provide enough to pique interest. Tip number three, use powerful words. Evoke emotions, excitement or intrigue with the use of compelling adjectives and action verbs. But remember, don't overdo it. Keep it natural and fitting to the tone of your book. Tip number four, include key benefits. Particularly for low content books, mention how the reader will benefit from your book. Will it help them relax? Will it increase their productivity? Foster their child's creativity? Tell them. And finally, tip five, proofread. Yes, this also applies to your book description. Ensure it's free of spelling and grammatical errors. An error-free description not only looks professional, but also builds trust with your readers. And here is a step-by-step -step guide for creating a template to write book descriptions. So you can use this anytime that you want to write a book description. If you make a note of these five points, so then you can use this to write your whole description. So remember to write the hook first, an intriguing opening statement or question, then provide a concise summary of the book, which is the synopsis, list the benefits. Thirdly, so list the benefits the reader will gain from the book and then tell them about the unique selling point. So explain to them what makes your book unique and then have a call to action. Write a compelling line encouraging readers to purchase. So let me just give you two examples. One is for a children's picture book. So the hook could be, can a young bear with big dreams teach us about friendship, courage and the sky's the limit possibilities that await us when we dare to dream big? So this is a question and it's designed to hopefully draw the reader in. And then you carry on with the synopsis. In Benny the Bear's Big Dream, our adorable ambition-filled protagonist, Benny the Bear, dreams of touching the stars. Through vibrant illustrations and heartwarming narration, we follow Benny as he journeys through the forest, meeting new friends and facing challenges along the way. So this is like a, a summary of, of what the book is about. And that's really important because people do want to know what is the book about, what's included in this book. And uh, then you carry on with the benefits. So an example for this children's book would be 
filled with important life lessons on friendship, determination and ambition, Benny the Bear's Big Dream not only entertains but also educates. It's the perfect bedtime story, fostering imagination, encouraging early literacy and promoting values every child needs to learn. This tells the reader about what benefits they can get from reading this book. And then you also want to tell them about a unique selling point. And in this case, it would be what sets Benny the Bear's big dream apart from other picture books is its stunning hand-painted watercolor illustrations that will captivate children and adults alike and its lyrical poetic storytelling that turns reading time into a magical experience. So remember, this is just an example. You would have to find your own unique selling point for your book. And then lastly, you want to have a call to action. You want to encourage your reader to do something. And in this case, it's ready to embark on an unforgettable journey with Benny. Grab Benny the Bear's big dream today and let your child's imagination soar. So that would be a really good book description for a children's picture book but what about a good old low content diet log book sometimes even I have problems finding a really good description for books like that because there is a lot of competition out there and uh, we have to be really good and make our descriptions better and everything better about our books so what would a description for a diet log book look like well here's an example as a hook you could have Ready to take control of your diet and pave the way towards healthier, happier living. So that hopefully will draw them in because this is things that people want to do. They want to live a healthier and happier life. So then you go on to the synopsis and you tell them what the book is about. The Daily Diet Tracker is your personal companion on your journey to healthier eating. Simple yet comprehensive. This logbook allows you to track your meals, water intake, calories and exercise all in one place. And then tell them about the benefits. By using Daily Diet Tracker, you're not just recording your food intake, but gaining a better understanding of your eating habits. The act of tracking encourages mindfulness about what and when you eat, aids portion control and can be a great motivator for healthier choices. So then you move on to the unique selling point and for this particular book that could be what sets Daily Diet Tracker apart is its comprehensive yet straightforward layout plus additional features such as weekly progress reflections, tips for healthier eating and motivational quotes all packed into a portable size so you can carry it everywhere. And then at the end, you have your call to action because you want people to buy your book. So you say, ready to transform your relationship with food? Purchase the daily diet tracker today and take your first step towards a healthier lifestyle. So these are two examples for book descriptions. And uh, if you can write something like this, then that will make a really big difference to your book sales. I see a lot of especially low content books that have really short descriptions. Some of them are full of grammatical and spelling mistakes. And you really want to avoid that because when a buyer sees that, it will put them off buying that book. And sometimes they don't read the description very much and you can create A plus content and you can use the same sort of principles for that. But I think a description is still really important because like I said at the beginning, Google does index your description and you really want your books to show up on Google because a lot of people search on Google if they're looking for something specific and even if they're looking for a book, they can still find it on Google. So as I said at the beginning of this video, there is a new tool that can help you write a good description and format it ready for you to upload to Amazon KDP. And this tool is by Kindlepreneur, the makers of Publisher Rocket, and it's designed to help you create a professional and compelling description for your book that will grab the attention of your potential readers. And I'm going to show you what it's all about. I think this is a really good little tool. Hopefully it will help you. So let's dive into it and let's have a look at it.
I'm going to leave a link to this below the video, but let me just quickly show you how you would create your book description really quickly and uh, it makes a good job of it, I think. So you've got this screen here where you can type in your book description and it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to think of a description for the diet log book that we were talking about earlier. So if I'm making a diet log book, for example, I could say this dialogue book helps you keep track of your calories and your food intake. It will help you become healthier. The book has lots of spaces to fill in information. It's six by nine inches, say practical size. And you can see that this is a really terrible book description, but I'm trying to see what this book description generator will do with this. So what else can I say about it? I always go a little bit blank when I think about what to say about my books and, and it's happening again now. I, I really, I'm not quite sure what I should say about it. So I'm going to try and see if this has the ability to make a really good description out of out of a few sentences really. So let's have a look. It says once you finish your description, click here to see if AI can improve it. So I'm clicking there and then it asks you if it's fiction or non-fiction. So it's not fiction. So we click non-fiction and it says hold tight. The AI is crafting a book description. So we're just going to wait a little bit. And there we have it. So out of this mess, it has actually created a, a good description. Let's read it. Start your journey to healthier living with this comprehensive diet log book. With this book, you can easily monitor and track your caloric intake and food consumption to reach your health goals. I'm really impressed by this. Then it says helpful tips and advice to make changes to your diet. Don't wait, buy now before the price changes. I would probably take this away. I don't like things like that. They make it sound like you're trying to desperately to get the buyer. But other than that, I'm really impressed with this description. I think, you know, always check whatever you do, especially when you're creating something with AI. Make sure that it's correct in facts and in spelling and in grammar because AI makes mistakes. So this is obviously created with AI. So you have to double check that everything is the way you want it to be and that it doesn't, that it's not telling any fibs, <laughs> not telling any lies and that there's no incorrect information in there. So I think what we have to do now is I'm just going to copy this just to make sure that it keeps this and then go back to formatting and it's got my old um, my old description there that is not really that great. You can choose here what you want it to be. I had it on Amazon book description which is what we were trying to create. You can make some adjustments here but I just really left it as it is. Then it says generate my code. So I'm going to generate this but I, I wonder if it's going to generate the code for this one and not the one that I created, but I've copied it. So let's see what happens if I click on this. So yeah, this is, this is not the code that we wanted. I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to paste what I copied earlier. And now we have our good description. I'm just going to take this away. Just going to say bye now. And of course, with any of your descriptions that you generate in this way, just check them, make sure that they're correct. And then you can click on generate my code and then you can copy code and you can just paste it into your Amazon book description field when you upload your book. So I think this is really good. I'm very impressed with this and it really helps you. So I will leave a link to this tool under the video and uh, it's absolutely free. So I think that's really helpful. So crafting a great book description is like an art. It takes practice, but with these tips, I'm confident that you can create 
compelling descriptions that will entice readers and boost your book sales. So that's all for today, home bosses. Keep writing, keep creating, and remember your words have power. Make sure to like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and happy publishing.